Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And today we are doing our quick review of the Sanyo Exacti uh, VPC HD 1010 and HD 2000 because it's in essence it's the same camera. <clears throat> and let me tell you why we're doing uh, both of these. So first of all, um, as you noticed in my unboxing, I did the um, unbox the Sanyo Exacti VPC HD 1010 and I had a little bit of a problem with it. I didn't have any problem with shooting um, exactly. I mean the color was a little bit off. Um, the low light was terrible but the biggest problem was is <clears throat> both of these cameras have this here okay and the reason why you hear some of the, the bags and the packaging is uh, because this is ready to go right back okay so here is the uh, dock okay so here's the dock and what you do is you're able to charge your camera okay on the dock and you're able to transfer data from your dock via USB hey, the, both the HD 1010 and the uh, 2000 hey, the problem being is is when I hook this up not only to my Mac but to uh, another Mac and to a PC when you put it into card reader mode and try to transfer data, okay, and in essence you're opening iMovie or any sort of uh, importing software, more often than not, it corrupted the data. Okay, and it would not mount onto a computer, so the disk would not mount onto the desktop, and the data would be corrupt, and it would be gone. So uh, I lost some footage, you know, nothing that was uh, phenomenally uh, irreplaceable, the family, you know, just weekend out. But the footage that I did lose that I'm really upset about is one of the interviews that I did at Macworld, okay? And Macworld was nothing uh, earth shattering. There weren't a bunch of new products that we haven't seen already, guys. So um, I only did one interview, okay? And that interview is gone. So just to give you a little bit of an idea on what happened, First, I had the uh, VPC 1010, had this issue called Sanyo. Okay, Sanyo said that you definitely have a defective unit and to send it in for repair. Okay, so <clears throat> I told them I had had this for five days and I wasn't going to send it in and be without my camera for three weeks. So I called uh, B&H over in New York, bhphoto.com. Very, very reputable company, guys. Great guys to work with. Um, a very big camera outlet out of New York. Okay, and I requested an RMA and I told them what happened so they gave me the RMA and I needed the uh, camera for Macworld the next day actually so they sent it out overnight for a uh, minimal charge so I got the uh, what I'm holding now the Sanyo VPC HD 2000 okay I tested this right when I got it I went to Macworld recorded the one video came back mounted it Okay, and it was corrupt. Okay, and it was gone. So I spent three or four hours with some recovery software trying to recover the, the footage. No dice. The odd thing is, guys, is when I dock it in this and try to transfer data, I more often than not, like I said, have a problem. Sometimes the interface does pop up on iMovie or um, whatever software you're using, and I am able to import. Okay, but other times I am not. The strange thing is, is when I take the uh, SD card out of the camera, put it in a card reader, and throw it in a USB hub, I have no problem with any imports. Okay. And now you may be saying, well, Tom, you could just always take the card out of the camera. Well, the point is, is, okay, is the uh, VPC HD 1010 is a $319 camera. Okay. The 2000 is a $499 camera which is supposed to be able to transfer data through this docking station. Okay, so it doesn't do what it's advertised to do. So I am gonna be packing this up and I am sending it back. Okay, so I have uh, unboxed up the VPC 1010 HD. It's already gone back, or the HD 1010, it's already gone back to New York. I'm packing up the uh, VPC uh, HD 2000. It's gonna go back to New York and I am shooting this with, uh, as you probably have seen already, the unboxing of my Canon uh, Vixia HF200. But before I put this in the box and kind of 
uh, sent it back. I wanted to kind of do a review on this, guys, because it's not all bad. Okay, the biggest drawback is the transfer of data. So as you can see, it's got a 16 times uh, advanced digital zoom. Okay, on the front here, okay, it does have a it does have a um, mic in and a headphone jack. Okay, a lot of cameras in this class do not have uh, mic ins or headphone jacks. Okay, the other thing that this camera does have in this class in this price range that a lot of them don't, okay, is it does have a cold shoe. Okay, so let me get that over here for you. Okay, so it's got a cold shoe. So you guys can hook up a boom mic or a uh, uh, external light, whatever. Okay, on the back here, it does have a nice big screen, as you can see. Um, it, I think it's a 2.7 inch screen. It does go in normal and simple mode. Okay, and it's got this nice interface here. Okay, the on-off switch is here. And, and guys, I'm just going to throw in a 32 gig memory card real, or 32 uh, memory card real quick. Just so it stops telling us to insert a memory card. So let's put in this memory card. Okay, so there we go. So there's a memory card. Here on the back, we have photo view. We have your record and your playback, so okay, you can record and your playback. This does have the iFrame technology. Now, iFrame um, is optimized for iMovie. Now, you would th think that it just imports better, but what it does is it shoots at a different resolution. So I'll get into that in a second. Okay, here's your telephoto, okay, your zoom and your wide angle. Okay. The one problem with zoom and wide angle on these uh, Sanyos is once you get up close on the zoom, okay, the image stabilization is terrible. Okay, I use the image stabilization on the camera and I use the image stabil stabilization uh, in iMovie and it's still just okay. I mean, that's how bad the image stabilization is. Okay, here is the menu. Okay, you've got a couple different menus. Here's the first one. Here's your video. Okay, and here is what's called the iframe, the 960 by 540. So that's 30 frames per second. Hey, that is what is optimized for iMovie. Because as you guys know, um, with all these other formats, when you import it into iMovie, iMovie has to convert it. So this speeds up importing speeds, but you're not in true HD, you're at 960 by 540. You can also go full HD, 1920 by 1080 at um, 60 frames per second. 1920 by 1080 at uh, 60 again. Uh, you can go 1920 by 1080 at 30. You can go 640 by 480 down to 448 by 336, 192 by 108, and voice memo. So there's a lot of different options, okay? We're gonna go back to the menu. There's your photo. There's all these different options for photos, okay, which is nice. Okay, here is your scene select. Okay, you can do sports, portrait, landscape, so on and so forth, fireworks, lamp, filter, flash, self-timer, so on and so forth. Uh, also, you have your vi video stabilization, your photo stabilization, your focus, your focus mode, your exposure. The one problem I did have with this, guys, is the white balance was a little bit off, too. So, I used to, inside, I did a lot of incandescent stuff just to get the the white balance right. When I used it on auto, my hands looked really red. And uh, as Just For Tim, I think, mentioned that, you know, some of the the uh, saturation was just off. Here's your exposure. It does have the nice face chaser mode, so on and so forth. Clock set info, um, external mic, noise reduction. I mean, there's a ton of stuff here, guys. Okay, so it's not... a uh, um, a chintzy camera it just didn't work out for me okay here on the um, on the face here what you can do is when you're recording video you can record and in the midst of recording you can take a photo so it's really easy to take a photo and record at the same time okay we stop recording we go back to playback okay and uh, here is our movie okay so and then we're gonna stop that we're gonna go back here okay there's some footage that I took 
So, I mean, it's not a bad camera, guys. The, the biggest thing is the data transfer. Frankly, if the data transfer worked, I would have kept this camera. So I would have kept the, uh, uh, the VPC HD 1010, quite frankly, um, but the data transfer didn't work. So in essence, what you have to do is, is every time you have to take out the memory card, put in a card reader, because I think that there's a problem with either the firmware in either the camera or in this docking station um, that transfers data that sometimes it transfers and recognizes and sometimes it, it doesn't. I'd love to hear what you guys have to uh, say if you have used this camera on this issue um, whether you're using windows or mac whatever it may be so guys um to kind of you know put it all in perspective um i had high hopes for the sanyo exacti um the vpc hd 1010 as well as the vpc hd 2000 but i just can't see spending that kind of money and not having the transfer on the docking station work the way that it's supposed to um, again, like I said, if I took out the memory card every time and put it in a card reader, it worked every time. But when I did it uh, this way through the dock, I had corrupt issues more often than not. So guys, that's kind of my semi-review, I guess you would call it, of the Sanyo Exacti uh, VPC HD 1010 and the VPC HD 2000. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear feedback from other people that have this camera or that had this camera that have had success with this camera and that may not have. I, you know, I'm kind of curious as to see what else is going on out there besides just my experience here in this one little corner of the world. So guys, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com. Uh, again, please uh, send me some, some comments if you have this camera or if you return this camera or whatever it may be. Again, my email address is Tom Mosha. It's T-O-M-M-O-C-C-I-A at buymeaniphone.com. You can follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buy me an iPhone. And if you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer. That's N-E-R-F squeezer. So guys, uh, again, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and your feedback on these Sanyo Exacti cameras. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. And as always, have a great day.